How many hours did you spend in the paddock with a chipping hoe when you were a kid? Do you still carry one in every ute? Chances are you know how effective they are, but wouldn't mind if you never had to use one again. Australia has an unfortunate habit of claiming world firsts in new species for herbicide resistance lists. Fortunately, we have also been leaders in the development of new tools to help combat the problem. Enter the revolutionary new chipping hoe, the world's first site-specific mechanical weeder for large-scale grain production systems. This new tool couples the age-old chipping hoe approach with modern optical weed de detection technology and mechanisation to create a non-herbicide tactic to tackle herbicide resistant weeds of any size. Like the optical sprayers that have vastly reduced chemical usage over the last 20 years, the weed chipper is fitted with sensors that detect weeds and trigger individual tines instead of spray nozzles to rapidly chip out the weeds. The concept of the weed chipper arose through a group of growers discussing weed control in a fallow field in southern Queensland when the idea of the rapid response time to chip out weeds was conceived. With investment from GRDC, a group of agricultural engineers and weed researchers led by Dr Michael Walsh at the University of Sydney, along with grower and industry advisors, built and tested prototypes of the weed chipper and paved the way to its commercialisation. The major findings of this research were, firstly, the machine is capable of achieving 90 to 100 per cent weed control for all key weed species, even when the plants are up to 70 centimetres in diameter. Secondly, when operated in fallow paddocks with less than one weed per 10 square metres, the machine disturbs the soil surface only 2 per cent of the paddock area. To find out how this new weed control option could help you manage herbicide resistant weeds, check out our new RE Insights.